Okay guys, um, the last video I done didn't have any sound to it, so this one should have some sound to it. Um, so this is a tutorial on how to make a DFX2 cooperative map for online. You open your mission today, you'll get a screen like this, go straight to edit, general information. I'm going to call this map. Hotel Essex um, You don't need to put the fancy little letters in I'm just doing that for the tutorial um, Mission designer is Geordie Boy So you enter your mission name which will appear when the map loads and the mission designer that is so if anyone has to look at your map again we know who designed it. You select the terrain, I'm just going to select the random one. Mission tiles, leave that blank because I don't know what that does. Mission type, you put 10th mountain, combat vehicle mission and normal mission, leave that on normal mission. Map types, leave it on single player because you will need to test it later. Um, so later on I'll be changing it to cooperative. Leave single player respawn undone. Start and spin map zoom. That's for the mini map that will appear up on the right of your game. I prefer that on far out. Your win conditions. You tick critical. Um, you've got loads of different objectives here. Um, so I'm going to use eliminate all resistance. Lose conditions, I'm going to leave that blank. The bonus, max, and global, I'm going to leave all them the way they are. The mission overrides, I'm going to leave them the way they are, they're now also. And click OK. So here's the terrain. Um, on the left hand side, you'll see like loads of different things. You don't need to play with them. But if you look at CHD, you get different things on them. I prefer this one on here, um, on C, sorry. Layers, I don't know what that does, so don't play with that unless you're experienced. Unselect all, I'll explain that in a bit. 3D wireframe, um, basically tells you straight, it's 3D and it's wires, basically. It's not actually wires, but you know. Okay, so to move about on this part, we've got a one your number pad on the right hand side of your keyboard so 8 turns it up like that 2 down so get it right down and now back up to roughly where we had it there we go 6 turns to the right and 4 turns it back So you might be thinking, yeah, so, well, I can't actually see what I'm placing in the map in this way, so how do I do that? That's pretty simple. You use the minus and the add key on the number pad also, which zooms in and zooms out. Now, if you use the controls correctly, you can get your screen to look something like that. Which then you can zoom in and out, but we'll be using that soon. Okay, so page up to zoom into this part, and same keys to move. So it's page up and page down on this part, or you can just use the minus and plus keys. Okay, so go right click and click insert mode. Then we've got a left click and this box will appear. I'm going to add two start player markers, which is right at the bottom. And I'm going to add two area triggers, which is back up at the top. And now I'm going to go on to edit. I'm going to click on area triggers, control T for shortcut, click on one and type in area 
one or you can call it game start or whatever you want to call it I'm going to click on area triggers and to get this box up you can press enter or you can right click and edit it item attributes you have all this straight away go to your waypoints list game start and an orange box will appear around that's if you have um, this as orange if you have it as a different colour then it will appear as a different colour ok now we're going to insert some enemies so over here we'll go to people and we'll use these dudes here And now I'm going to go back to edit and go to groups. You get one and two already done, don't touch them, go straight through and type in bad. Or enemies or guys or women or whatever you want. I'm just typing in bad for this video. Select all three guys and then this box will up here if you press enter or item attributes go to group and change it to group 3 and take mission critical item ok so you'll be thinking ok so that'll be that, that'll work I can put it in my server that's where you're wrong this is where the fun part comes in the events everybody fears the events and it's really easy when you get a hang of it so name change that to game start f trigger trigger type group trigger condition area trigger group 1 which would be you area 1 which is the area triggers we inserted earlier then actions Show win sub goal. Eliminate all resistance. Yep, that's the only objective I've got. The variable state is zero or one. Zero means no, one means yes. You always want to show the objective. Remember this is a cooperative tutorial. So it's pretty much the same for Team Deathmatch, I believe, or whatever else you play. Okay, then we've got to insert a new action and go to win sub goal eliminate all resistance no sorry sorry forget that I'm going to create a new event game end if trigger trigger type group condition all destroyed group 3 the bad guys then actions win sub goal and then win blue click ok and then remember the map name was hotel Essex, so we'll copy that and we're about to save it in a second but like I said earlier I'll explain on select all if you have like loads of things selected and you don't want to select like everything again to unselect them all or whatever just click on select all and it does that so if you press and hold shift key and drag a box around you can see they're highlighted by the server also tells you that they're highlighted click on select all um if you've got any questions just feel free to ask and i'll answer them as best as i can now what we want to do is obviously we'll go on and test it but i'm using an unregistered hypercam 3 so it's not going to record my screen for some reason as where hypercam 2 did um so we'll just go to file nope sorry edit general information Change it to cooperative, click OK.
and go file, save as. And it should automatically save in your correct folder. And then go back to file and export binding. Okay. Once that's done, you'll get a export log. Just click OK. So that's how you make a tutorial. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Goodbye.